Question four. Part A is the reactions between the ethene with H2O to form the ethanol. Okay, this one is the hydration because it's addition of H2O. And the catalyst used is H3PO4. For this part A, the bond energy is given okay, in this table and you need to calculate the delta HR means this one delta HR for this reaction. First, you need to understand how to use this bond energy for the calculation. Any reaction in order to form products, the reactants must undergo bond breaking. So means the first step is going to be is the bond break of all the reactants here. Bond breaking you need to involve the absorption of energy, which is endo. That's why this part it's positive endo reaction energy needed to break all this bonding so you have to count the bondings here how many ch bond how many cc bond how many oh bond so from here we know that ch bond okay it has one two three four four cc bond one oh bond two so here for the calculation we need to put all these inside. So this one is the reactant part, which is the endo part. Okay, four bonding of CH, CC bond, and two of the OH bond. Then for the right hand side, this product, after all the bond breaks finished, then the gases ions form will react and form this product. So means on this product side, it will involve energy release, which is XO. Because when the bonds formation is always release energy and is negative, is XO. Therefore, in this part, you need to know how many bonding in more okay do not forget to put negative sign here so it must be negative all the bonding that or the bond energies that involved this negative part is to show that the exo the make reaction of the bond formation so five of the uh, these uh, ch bond Okay, we just count one two three four five cc bond one co bond one oh bond one all right okay therefore is cc bond one co bond one and oh bond another one so minus this whole pack of bond energy so you get negative 50 kilojoule per mole Okay, this is how to solve the bond energies question. Part B. Reaction 1 reach equilibrium at constant temperature and pressure. Deduce what effect increasing the pressure will have on the amount of ethanol. So whether it's less or more. Very easy. From here, we know that ethanol is a product. So one more. And the left hand side the reactant is as one plus one total two more so when pressure increase it will move to the side that produce lesser more because it will reduce the pressure so the equilibrium will shift to right okay so we know that by increasing the pressure amount of ethanol must increase because it's a product okay why then explain because equilibrium move to right 
to produce lesser or fewer moles of gas in order to reduce the pressures that apply. Okay, part C is a mechanism uh, that involves uh, three steps actually. So first is the ethene reacts with this phosphoric acid. From here it's very clear that we know the double bond Okay, one pi one sigma. The pi bonds break. The electrons, okay, if you if you out from this double bond. So after that, the C H bond will form. The C one of the carbon will form new bonding with this hydrogen. Okay, therefore, okay, it will undergo bond break. The OH bond will break and these pair of electrons will move to oxygen and it will form this oxide. So when the carbon here, let's say this carbon, form new bonding with H, then it will form CH3 here. And this CH2 now, this carbon is electron deficient, it will form carbocation. This is step one. It will form carbocation ion and this anion. Okay, step two, the carbocation ion just now will further react with H2O in the in the solution in the mixture. So we know that in the H2O oxygen it has two lone pair. So one of the lone pair will donate to the carbocation here to form a new bonding and after that it will form this intermediate from this step 2 we know that H2O is the lone pair donors so it's a nucleophile the carbocation gains lone pair so we call it as electrophile okay then we can answer all this question Describe the behavior of the phosphoric acid in step one. Step one, okay, the acid is it before and after, you can see very clear, before and after. So it's lost one proton. When the species lost one proton, we know that it must be an acid. Okay, bronsted glory acid base theory, huh? remember? Okay, so that's why we say that H3PO4 in the step 1 just now okay, is the acid because it donates a proton. Okay, part 2. Identify the species that behave an electrophile in step 2. Step 2. Huh? So I already told you the H2O is the lone pair donor. is an electrophile. The species that reacts with the nucleophile is an electrophile because the carbocation here gains the lone pair. So this is the electrophile. CH3, CH2, positive. This one. Okay. Because what? Explain. Huh? Because it accepts a pair of electrons from others. Okay, part 3. Complete this uh, following figure, 4.2. Show the mechanisms for step 3. Include all the charge dipose lone pair electrons and the arrows okay this one is uh, uh, quite a new things you need to know how to uh, deprotonate the species how this species undergo deprotonation okay this ion or this species is from the step 2 just now it's a product of step 2 and it need to undergo the process we call deprotonation. Means it's going to lose one proton. So how to make it remove the proton? Very easy. So remember here the products from the step one here, this one. The anions that produce in the step one now is going to use it in the step 3 this one 
Remember, put a lone pair on the oxygen and draw an arrow from this lone pair point to the hydrogen. One of the hydrogen in the this uh, OH2O means this part, right? Positive. Okay. Then this one is one mark. Then you need to show another one. If let's say now the oxide get one protons from this intermediate, then when the <clears throat> when this O and H bond form a new bonding, the O bonding must break. O H bond here must break, and these electrons that share will move to oxygen, and the lone pair on the oxygen is now being restored means it's not going to be electron deficient now it's going to have the two lone pair so this we call the protonation you put two lone pair on oxygen and this is the alcohol that form right so this one is one mark okay part four Describe how catalysts affect the reaction. Explain your answer. Very easy. This one you uh, learned a long time ago. Catalyst is always the one that increases the rate of reaction by producing an alternative reaction pathway with lower EA or activation energy. This one is very easy. Okay, use the figure 4.1 and 4.2 justify why the phosphoric acid is a catalyst. Okay. For the step one, the phosphoric acid used. And after that, the last step, st step three, the phosphoric acid now is regenerate. When a species is able to regenerate at the end of the reaction, we call it catalyst. Okay, very easy because it is regenerated. Okay, part four. Propene also reacts with steam in a mixture of organic products. Explain why propene 2 all is produced in a higher yield. Uh, in order to understand this part, it's better uh, uh, to follow the <coughs> mechanisms that I, I drew here. Okay, according to the Makonikov rules, when the double bonds open up okay, and the C form a new bonding with the, uh, the electrophile or hydrogen. So the hydrogens from the hydronium ion must move to the carbon with more hydrogen. Means these hydrogens will form new bonding with this C. Then it will form this intermediate. When these hydrogens okay, bond to this C and form this intermediate, then the other's carbon now is electron deficient, this carbon, so it will form carbocation. And this carbocation is secondary carbocation, which is more stable than the primary. And after that, the water molecule will further react with the carbocation so the lone pair will donate to this carbocation to form new bonding and form this intermediate this intermediate like just now you need to undergo deprotonation the other water molecules now is try to deprotonate this species right donate lone pair to this HOH -OH bond break restore the lone pair on this oxygen form this propane to all uh, this is how the propanes to all form. So what is the reason that make this propane to all as a higher yield product or is a major product? Because of the intermediate this carbocation. Okay, because the carbocations that form okay, is more stable. Propane 2 all is produced via a more stable carbocation because secondary carbocation is more stable than primary. If the hydrogen just now is moved to this carbon from new bonding, 
then it will form a primary carbocation, which is not really stable. Okay, that's the reason here. Okay, because it's produced okay, uh, through the or via the more stable carbocation. Due to what? Due to the positive inductive effect of this alkyl group. This alkyl group, this alkyl group will okay, have a positive inductive effect, means it will push its electrons towards the carbocation, make this charge positive lesser and it's not really reactive so means more stable to stabilize this carbocation that's we call stable or more stable carbocation which caused by the positive inductive effect of this alkyl group okay part d describe the covalent bonds present between two carbon atom in ethene so first, you need to know the hybridization of the carbon in the CC double bond. So hybridization is sp2. Everyone should know now. Okay, when it's sp2, we know that three unpaired electrons in sp2, another unpaired electrons will be in p orbital. This is how the sp2 carbons looks like. Okay, after the hybridization. These three electrons will use to form the sigma bond. This will use to form pi bond. And this sigma bond, this means is this sigma bond. Okay, this carbon and this carbon both they will use the same hybrid orbitals and overlaps. Which means the type of orbitals involved in this sigma bond, it must be sp2 sp2 carbon means sp2 sp2 carbon and these two carbon they're going to use the hybrid orbitals sp2 hybrid orbitals for overlapping that's why this is sp2 sp2 and it must be the heads on or direct overlapping and the pi bonds here because we know that double bonds always there will be one sigma bond, another one is one pi. The pi bond is because of the 2p and 2p overlap. This is 2p. Yeah? So this carbon will use its 2p here. And this carbon also will use its 2p and these two will overlap. So 2p, 2p and it's sideways. That's all for the question 4. Thank you.